Welcome back to what is sure to be another exciting season of the Sunfold Dolphins TV. Coming up on today's show, we mingle with our players at the unveiling of our fresh new look. Coach Klusner lets us in on the season ahead. We are introduced to our new CEO and take a look at our revamped stadium. And we recap the exploits of our boys in the recent African T20 campaign. But first, let's catch up on some news from the off-season. Once again, we were given reason to celebrate through the call-up of another one of our boys. This time, batsman Kaya Mlilo Zord, who joined ranks with the rest of our boys, David, Kyle and Imran, as they represent our country during the India tour. Show them fire, Kaya! In other news, we want to congratulate our former KZNCU Township Development Manager, Lina Zondi, as he was appointed the new Cricket South Africa Convener of Selectors in June. Our franchise has seen a number of favourable and upbeat changes during the off-season, one of them being the appointment of our new Sunfall Dolphin CEO, Pete DeVette. A man with a passion for connecting brands and fans and over 15 years of sponsorship expertise, Pete has always had a long-standing relationship with the KZN Cricket Union and cricket as a whole. When the position opened up for him to be the first in command of the franchise, he merged his years of experience with the needs he foresees the franchise would benefit from. Yeah, look, I mean, I guess when you're involved in, in the sport, um, you always think about how you would potentially do things differently or how you might be able to add, add value. So um, when the position became available, that's certainly what I thought was, well, if I go in there, I think I can, I can do something special with, with the franchise and, and with the union. So, so that was really the rationale behind it, uh, the opportunity to be able to come in and make a difference. Taking the lead at a franchise he has long admired and supported from the sidelines, Pete came on board with a whole host of ideas that would serve the franchise well. Well, I, th I think for me the, the, the most important thing was, was to instill a belief um, in the staff and the team that we can be the number one franchise and union in the, in the country. Um, and that's our single-minded focus, that's our vision. Our vision is to be the number one franchise and union in the country. So uh, that was the main challenge when I got on board, was to say to everyone, listen, we can do this. Um, you know, we've got a great team, we've got a, we've got a balanced team, a well-settled team. Um, in Lance, we've got a coach who's been here for a couple of years now and who's had the opportunity to get the guys to a point where I feel that they should be winning trophies season in and season out. Um, and, and we've got a great complement of staff. So it was just about saying there's, there's good things happening there's a lot, lot of positive that can come out of having somebody new uh, on board. And, and really that was the, the big challenge is to get everybody single-mindedly focused behind becoming number one. In the six months that Pete has taken the reins, our franchise has seen major and exciting revamps, both in its look and feel, boding well towards the aim of connecting our Sunfall Dolphins brand with our enthusiastic KZN fans. Stadium manager Brett Proctor, who was involved extensively in the changes embarked upon within the home of the Sunfield Dolphins, Sahara Stadium Kings Me, revealed to us all the changes initiated by Pete in and around the stadium. Well, it's all part of, I suppose, new broom sweeps clean. The new CEO has come in with a lot of energy and a lot of ideas. And he's obviously found some money from somewhere because that's always important. And, and what it's done is just try and put a new face on proceedings, as you, as you rightly say. The whole new branding has just got uh, the Sunfall Dolphins for the sponsor and for all the stakeholders, more in the public eye. Um, the amenities that have been changed here at the stadium have given it an upgrade that hopefully as the, as the season really kicks in with the domestic campaign up and running in, in the near future, people will come in and realise that um, effort is being made here and it's a, it's a team worth supporting. Obviously one of the biggest changes at the stadium is the new scoreboard. Um, it's state of the art, it's a full colour screen, um, it's the first of its kind in the country. And, and really, I think that's been a great success. It was, it was unveiled at the, at the New Zealand Limited Overs Internationals and most of the feedback from public and press and media was very, very positive. And, we, and we've even taken some queries from those people, those parties into to heart and have, and have made further changes so that right now we think it's absolutely dead right. Other changes, we've upgraded any number of the toilet and bathroom facilities in the West and East Stand, which obviously for the public, I think, those antiquated facilities, they will see a massive improvement. Um, we've certainly done changes inside some function rooms, added air conditioning, retiled, we've refenced the entire property. The old tarmac of the front concourse that was really getting potholed and tired, that's been redone. Um, that's just a couple of the things that we've had to find a, quite a heavy capital outlay 
but in the end of the day, it's, it's really worth it just from a good feel-good perspective around the stadium and for the people who come here. Leading from the front and putting his words into action, Pete told us more about the motivation behind the improvements. Look, I, th I think when you when you come into a new position, you have a look, uh, you have an opportunity to see things uh, from from a fresh perspective. Um, I, I felt that the the, the Dolphins brand required a, a refresh. Um, you know, the the, the only time that the the lo well the logo hadn't been changed um, in 15 years, so. It was the right time to be able to come in and, and, and refresh the brand look and feel. Um, and, and then in conjunction with that, you know, our, our stadium, Sahara Stadium Kingsmead, is, is, is the number one cricketing destination in the province. But uh, to be honest, I don't think that it really lived up to expectations in terms of the way that it looked. So it was important to be able to come in and say, right, how do we, how do we improve the stadium so that on match day, fans who come to the stadium have a better experience? Because that's key. If fans have good experiences, they'll continue to come back um, and support the Sunfall Dolphins. Our marketing department has always strived to get more people out of their homes and into our stadium to enjoy our boys playing a good brand of cricket, either under the warm African sun or in the electric atmosphere created under the stadium lights. With the improvements made at Sahara Stadium Kingsmead, that goal is closer to being achieved. It is, it, it's, it's becoming increasingly difficult in the modern era, the quality of television production and the, and the product that that's, uh, enables the person to stay at home and watch it in the comfort and security. But there's nothing like being at the game. I, I still think that the value of a ticket coming to any match here at Kingsmead is very good. And we've just tried to upgrade the opportunity for, play, for people to, to be here in comfort, whether they choose the grass banks, whether they choose the function rooms, whether they choose the stand, the food that's available to them. Um, and and the, let's hope the quality of the cricket that they see as well is has gone up a notch or two here so that they will come into Sahara Stadium Kingsmead. Yeah, I mean, I think my message to, to cricket fans in the province is that um, you know, we've, we're working really, really hard to try and improve your match day experience. You know, we want you to come to Kingsmead. We want you to have a good time. We want you to be able to feel safe. We want you to have safe parking. Um, we want you to have a good food offering. Uh, and that's all the stuff that we've been working on. Um, and we also want you to be able to see and watch good cricket. We want to win trophies this season. That's, that's key for us. And I honestly believe that we've got the platform now to be able to go out and do that. We've got a great team, or we've, we've got a, an excellent coach, um, and, and all the stuff that we've done in and around the stadium bodes well towards getting everybody really fired up about the start of the season, and I'm, I'm expecting big things this season. Our franchise launched the 2015-2016 season with a bang, with the unveiling of the proud new Sunfall Dolphins look and the reinvention of our logo. An aura of intrigue and mystique abounded that evening at Sahara Stadium Kingsmead as our boys, clad in their new kit, mingled with cricket lovers and media in the lively occasion of launching our new look brand. I think it was a, an important part of our journey. You know, as a brand, we, we, we've, we've tend to, I think we've kind of forgotten about our fans, and it was important for us to try and uh, create a brand identity that would help our fans fall in love with us again. You know, we've got really passionate cricket fans in KZN, and, and uh, I think it's important that we, we, we start to, to get them back into the stadium. So this is just the start of a, of a really exciting journey for us here at the Sunfall Dolphins. I think, I think it certainly is something the players are part of. You know, we, we, we got a lot of input from them when we were going through the process of designing the logo um, and we try to understand from them what it, you know what is what is playing for the Sunfall Dolphins mean for you you know what are your what are your team values and we try to portray those through the through the, the design of the logo so uh, you know the players were integral in, in, in the decision um, to go with this logo and and you know I think it, it we go to battle weekly against teams like the Warriors and the Knights and, and it's important that we can go onto the field um, and and have a, a logo and, a, and an identity that that portrays a slightly more aggressive 
uh, theme than, than what you would expect from, from a dolphin. So you know, that's really where we went to and that's, that, that's why we, we, we are where we're at. The freshness and hipness of the new look was not lost on our sponsors, Sunfoil, as they gave a resounding two thumbs up to the whole exploit. The, the thing was that they wanted to um, reinvigorate and, and, and inject some new fresh life into the brand. And it did seem as if, you know, having been in existence for 15 years, that, that, passion, that passion seemed to have been lacking. So I think to us that was the most important thing, to, to, to uh, uh, re-inject some passion back into the brand. Uh, some passion back into the supporters and, and, and you know, hopefully instill a, a bit of a fear factor into our opponents as well. Now donning a new emblem on their chest, our boys let us in on their thoughts on this exciting new change. Yeah, I think it's really good. You know, as a team, we're trying to play a little bit more aggressive cricket. We're trying to be a little bit more positive. The logo is a, is a very important part of that. But at the end of the day, it is about the team putting the results on the paper week in and week out. From the first time I saw it, I was really blown away. I think it's young, it's edgy, it's got a freshness to it, it's modern, so you know, for me it's a thumbs up. Yeah, it's been really good. I uh, haven't been back for a, a few months, but uh, getting back here with the Dolphins it really is, has been good. Uh, obviously the energy's been amazing. Uh, there's been different ideas, changing of the stadium, uh, changing of the branding, so there's been a lot going on. You know, and everyone's really excited for, for, for a, new, a new start and a new season, so the guys have been training really hard and uh, it all just goes really hand in hand. It's very exciting. I think it's a, it's a fresh start for the guys. And it's something to look forward to for the next season. I think it's, it's fresh, it's grooving, and it looks very manly. So it looks like we're very serious about our business. And yeah, a good start is, 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 is always good. So it's nice and fresh and yeah, looks good. Stay with us as after the break, we introduce the newest member joining the Sunfold Dolphins family. Welcome back. Adding to the new changes and additions that have taken place within our franchise, we welcomed a new sponsor to our family, Hollywood Bets, who will be with us for the next three years as an associate sponsor. Having had a long-standing relationship with club cricket in Durban and always in attendance at our home games with their famous bunny bar, one could easily conclude that this marriage was inevitable. Well, you know, we've, we've had an associate sponsorship um, available for a while and uh, when I came on board I saw it as a, a key area that needed to be filled. Um, Hollywood Bets have had a, uh, a good history with cricket in the province and obviously a, a good history with us at Sahara Stadium Kingsmead given that they've got their Hollywood Bets bunny bar here. So uh, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a difficult discussion um, they're very passionate about cricket um, and I'm very excited about what Hollywood Bets is going to bring to the bring to the table. Yeah, I think it's, it's been a very exciting day for us, um, you know, officially announcing the partnership between Hollywood Bets and the Sunfall Dolphins. Um, it's been a process in the making over the last few months. Um, we've always been actively involved in, in club cricket in South Africa, well, mainly in um, Durban, where we uh, sponsor three clubs, including uh, Clares, Mlazi and Crusaders, who are the national club champs. You know, we're also very famous for our Hollywood Bunny Childs, and we've got to the stage now where we wanted to grow that brand, we want to grow the Hollywood Bets brand, and partnering with the franchise like the Sunfall Dolphins is one of those ways where we can integrate our company with a, a very top sports franchise. Although this is a newly fledged relationship, early indications point toward a highly successful affiliation between Hollywood Bets and our franchise for the next three years. We are a Durban-based franchise and we've grown up with the Dolphins and in essence we want to see them succeed and I think, you know, when yes there's financial support and other forms of support that sponsors bring to the table and I think in any ways as we've seen with our involvement with Crusaders Cricket Club, it's amazing what can be done. We've seen a club that became the first club in Natal that was non-tertiary to, well, to win um, a national club champs, the first team in South Africa. And we want to take that winning streak and that winning attitude to the Sunfall Dolphins and we think that that's what's going to happen. We're going to be seeing a lot of achievement and a lot of excitement. Reinforcing the point of just how great a fit Hollywood Bets is with our team, their number one aspiration, which is neatly aligned with our own, is seeing Sahara Stadium Kingsmead bursting at the seams with fans for all our home games. It's fantastic that through this partnership with Sunfall Dolphins, they've enabled us to, to open um, a bunny bar at Kingsmead that's going to be operating seven days a week. I think with regards to the cricket side of things, um, you know, we, 
we, we love the game and we want to see people back at the stadium and that's I think the main drive between us and Sunfoil Dolphins is to is to reignite that brand. We know Pete DeVette has done a fantastic job so far as CEO in the last few months and we can just see this brand growing and we want to get it to the, the top franchise in South Africa and we believe that they have the capabilities of doing that. CEO Pete DeVette is confident that this partnership heralds a brighter future for our franchise. The sponsorship allows us to ensure that we can invest more in our in our franchise team and, and, and I guess the ultimate uh, um, sh uh, uh, measure of success will be how many trophies we're able to win, you know, and with, with partners like Sunfall and Hollywood Bets on board, I, I don't see us, uh, you know, we've got a good young team on board, Lance has done a great job and, and I think if we, if we, if all the pieces fall into place the way that they have, I think we're in for a, in for a good three years and, and, and hopefully lots of trophies. During the off-season, our boys from the amateur side were afforded an opportunity to further harness their skills against African opponents through the inaugural African T20 Cup competition. Both our KZN inland and coastal sides did the province proud as they made it to the semi-finals, with KZN inland progressing to the finals. We caught up with both coaches as they reflected on our performance. Uh, it was a great initiative by Cricket South Africa. Um, we always wanted a uh, competitive uh, 2020 competitions for all provincial sides. Um, I think it was good. Um, uh, a lot of youngsters um, get an opportunity to play in a good competition. A um, uh, few international players like David Miller um, and all these Oaks had a chance to play with the younger players. Um, and I'm sure for the younger players it was nice to play, play with them. Um, for both sides, um, we did well. Uh, both sides went to the semi-final. We had good sides. Um, I think um, they played outstanding cricket, yeah. I think the African T20 Cup was a great initiative from CSA. I think um, it definitely allows the younger player to get involved into the game, give them a little bit of exposure. And, um, you know, young to play with old, old to play with young. I think that's a very good combination to have. And for us as a team, I think it um, just sent a little message out to South Africa about what we've done maybe over the last few years and just great that we could have put it into into practice in that competition but unfortunately you know we couldn't quite do it in the final but a great experience. Coach Telemarcus and Coach Berger look back on their final game where they were unfortunately denied the chance to bring the cup home. Uh, opposition wise I think um, you know Free State were a very good team the semi-final was a tough contest and for us to come through that hurdle was great. Um, really showed good team character to win that semi-final and then obviously playing against the champions Northerns in the end was was just a hurdle we couldn't quite get over so uh, they, they were probably the best team in the competition. Um, the last game you know we we, we had a, a difficult draw in the, in, the, in, in Northerns they had a, a very good side uh, I don't think we uh, particularly fielded and bowled well um, we didn't start well but um, I think they had a good side, um, and I think in the middle periods we didn't run enough twos. You know, uh, they out, uh, outplayed us there. They outplayed us in all or three departments. If you look at it, um, in the last over we were about 20 short. You know, we lost wickets at crucial times. You know, um, Cameron um, and um, Cody. You know, they tried their best to uh, get us over the line. Unfortunately, we didn't, uh, and again, didn't field well, didn't bowl well. For the players, both veteran and young, the experience of competing at this competition is one they value deeply. Well, it's amazing being given the responsibility of a senior player and helping the youngsters. And we surprised a few people, I think, in the group stages with the type of cricket we played and the brand of cricket we, we showed off. Uh, well, I think it's brilliant and I think it should be carrying on every single year. Maybe an addition of a few more teams to give the youngsters that have missed out just a little bit of exposure and a taste of what it's like to be playing on TV. Um, it was a great exposure, especially for, for us as, as an amateur level. And it was, it was a great time to play, especially live on TV, and play against other countries and other provinces as well. And when it comes to inland side, it was a very good, very good game and a very good exposure to play against likes of Jimmy and Kyle Zondo, international players, and to get experience from them and asking them for certain, for certain tips. And it was a great, great, great time. Despite the fact that this competition is new, it's already become a choice favourite amongst our guys. I think it's a great initiative. I think the important thing now is to, to make it bigger and better every single year. And um, yeah, try to get a few, few more African teams involved. I think it'd be good. And uh, even if we could maybe you know, host it throughout the whole of Africa, that would be great. 
I think it's a great in initiative, you know, um, but I would like to see more um, younger players getting opportunity instead of four f franchise players. I would rather see two franchise players to give the other youngsters an opportunity to play in this um, uh, competition. I um, also want to see um, different grounds, you know. Um, let's take it around the country, you know, take it to places where people can come and watch. Shots of catch it, catch it, take it, it's gone. Oh, beautiful. And a great catch too by Craig Alexander. With the season fiercely underway and our team putting all their preparations and hard work in the off-season into action on the field, we sat down with Coach Klusner as he lets us in on what his goals for the team are as he leads his charges this upcoming season. I think it's important for us as, as management and players to go in, out there and, and play winning cricket. It's nice to have a change in name and some fresh sponsors and that's, and that's great. But ultimately we need to win cricket games and that's what we're going to be focusing on, certainly as, as a team this, this year. For me, the, the four-day competition is something that, that really reflects the, the depth of your squad. So that is one that, that, that if I had to choose, maybe that uh, would be something that would be nice to win. But uh, we're setting our sights on and going out and competing for every single game and every single a little opportunity and, and ultimately we'd like to win all three. So rich is the talent within our squad that we have been fortunate to watch our boys repeatedly being called up for national duty. Coach Klusner expressed his pride in our boys despite their absence from our clan. We will be missing them certainly in the first half of the 50 over competition um, but again that's opportunity for other youngsters that have been putting up their hands, um, youngsters that we've, we've, we've had for a while that have come out of the SA under 19 system so let's hope that they can be fit and strong and take the opportunity. The return of Ryan McLaren and the forthcoming inclusion of Kevin Peterson is an opportunity to add depth to an already well-balanced squad. Well, we're going to get Ryan back. You know, he's out of the he's out of contention uh, with the national team right now, and he's back from England. So um, I, I really am looking forward to to having him in the team. Uh, he, he teams up well with Mona. It's it's great it's great to have them together, and certainly their experience is going to is going to mean a lot. Got him. Great length. Farling's an experienced guy. He hits a good area. Gets a bit of bounce. Kevin's Kevin's a, is a winner. He's he's won tournaments and man of the matches around the world, and he's someone we'd like to associate ourselves with because that's where ultimately we as, we as a team and, and players as individuals want to go. So to have someone that has done that around the world is, is, is fantastic um, and certainly we want to just provide the environment where, where Kevin can, can showcase um, how good he is and you know just attached to that is, is that maybe some of his, his work ethic can rub off on our youngsters as well. The blend of experience and youth in our squad is something Lance views as an advantage that will lead to success. Yes. Well, I think a, a fresh approach, really. Um, we we, we want to give some youngsters some opportunity. Um, I think I think they've got to a stage now where, you know, they're 21, 22, and actually ready to play franchise cricket. So that for us is, is exciting. And then we want to marry that with with uh, some old experienced hands, uh, Mornay and Bake, um, like Darren Smith, I suppose, Robbie Frylink, and 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 Ryan McLaren as well. Um, so if we can do that, I, I'm, I'm pretty excited as to you know how far we can go in the competition. The feeling of having your home crown behind you, filling up Sahara Stadium Kingsmead, is incomparable, according to Coach Klusner. He encourages our fans to attend stadium matches and be that formidable 12th man that will make any opposing team's visit to Kingsmead a daunting prospect. Well, well people like to watch winning cricket, and, and ultimately that's what we want to do. We want to we want to have home finals and we want to play in big games um, so that is that is where we as a team want to go um, there's a lot of cricket in between and, and certainly we'd encourage people who haven't been to Kingsmead for a long time to come back um, enjoy a live game and, and hopefully we can entertain you at, at the same time That's it for the first episode of this new season. 
Be sure to check out our website at dolphinscricket.co.za. Follow us on Twitter at Sunfall Dolphins and like our Facebook page, Dolphins Cricket. Before we say goodbye, we would like to pay tribute to a dear friend, Nontle Mangwe, who sadly passed away on the 23rd of September 2015. Nontle was our marketing assistant and was a beloved part of the Dolphins family who will sorely be missed. Rest in peace, Nontle. No